So we are here with Martin and Martin is the organizer of this event today. So I have a few questions to you. From where is you get this idea to make this event here today? Well, uh, in Sweden it's kind of hard to get uh, uh, fights in kickboxing, especially if you want to fight uh, full contact. And I wanted, wanted everybody to, uh, because this is the beginning for many of the fighters, their first fight, and uh, I wanted to make it a fun, nice, relaxed experience. Uh, when I started competing myself, uh, about year 1995-1996, uh, the competition was complete chaos. Uh, I don't want them to start that way. So I wanted fun, relaxed and I started thinking about this about a year ago uh, and I've always uh, I followed uh, Sandragon on the internet for a long time and um, in one of his videos I saw this wonderful ring uh, and I contacted him and he said let's go. So uh, that's why we do it, uh, to make the first fight, the first competition, uh, relaxed, fun and safe. Is everyone ready? Three rounds, two minutes each, uh, full contact kickboxing, uh, no elbows, no knees, no headbutts, uh, it is allowed to uh, strike below and above the knee, but not directly to the knee. And also, of course, the groin is illegal. You will touch gloves, go back to your corner, and I will start the fight with Hachime. Please, touch gloves. Ready? Ready? Hush him here! Alet! Come here! Up, 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 Ready? Hush him up! Hush him up, 
forsvar. Yes! Giv ham lige igen, lige præcis nu. Kom så, nu på! Det er presset! Det er presset! Det er presset! Det er presset. Afstand! Tilbage! Yes! Kom så! Luk pæk! Op i hovedet! Forsvar! Lynch! Break! Hvad er det? Hej, Samuel! Sådan! Ind på ham! Vent! Oh, 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 Kom så, Michael. Sådan. Kom så. Vær ned, Så er ingen Kom, problem. yes. Sådan. Kom så, kan vi igen? Hvad gjorde du? Hvad gjorde du? Kom så! 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 Kom så!
Hvad spænd, Michael? Hvad spænd? Kom ned! Op på højst kammer! Kør med hernede, da! We have a unanimous decision. The judges score 30-27, 30-26. The winner, Ruben. Yeah! Yeah! So with me is Robin, the winner of the fight. So I want to ask you some questions. So first question is like, how do you feel after the fight? I feel really honored to go against uh, Sand Dragon. Uh, a really good fighter here in Denmark. And uh, yeah, it's a pressure for me, pleasure for me to, to go against him. Uh, really nice and a good opponent. Did you prepare yourself some special for this fight that you study his videos or you did something special in your training? Of course, uh, I would be lying if I don't uh, said I would uh, look at his videos because um, it was uh, yeah I've looked at him look at his videos uh, a bit but uh, I try to focus on myself and uh, be ready for this this event at the 25 August and um, a lot of meets and uh, sparring uh, a bit um, 40 seconds uh, rest then we go three three minutes rounds so yeah I work a lot of bit for this. Uh, it's only three weeks ago when I was, uh, know this fight, but uh, yeah. Did you thinking about become a professional fighter in kickboxing or some MMA or something like this? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, very close to say that now, but uh, of course I'm really, really happy with this win. Uh, really happy and uh, now I'll go home and I will think about it, but uh, Maybe Martin will find something else, and uh, we will we will see. I will absolutely uh, train and uh, go for this. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. For Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So we are with Michael from Zen Dragon Channel, and yeah, I want to ask you a few questions. The first one is, how do you feel about the fight? Well, I haven't seen the fight yet. And I look forward to sharing it with uh, all of my fans and followers, but I feel alright about the fight. Uh, I was prepared to walk away injured or end up hurting my opponent, but neither of us got seriously harmed in there. So that's always positive. And I didn't really succeed with everything I hoped to, but I also had a f 
couple of a few nice moments I think uh, and it was also facing the type of opponent which is the one I have the most difficulty with a pressure fighter and also someone who would be in a higher weight class if it wasn't an open weight fight so so just uh, entering the ring and also leaving uh, after three uh, free rounds and managing some stuff it's an all right feeling did you prepare yourself some on some special way before this fight or you just do your normal regular things yeah um, I did uh, try and prepare in a different way for this fight so lately I've been been training a lot of grappling Brazilian Jiu Jitsu it was difficult preparing because my job was taking a lot of energy from me but I made sure that all of my martial arts training was focused on kickboxing for this one so I stopped training grappling which I'd focused mostly on up to this and I didn't practice anything with Kung Fu weapons or anything specifically for self-defense so I did a lot of shadow boxing a lot of back work and I went to some kickboxing classes at Rumble Sports MMA gym where I am currently training but about four days up to this fight I got injured uh, from low kick sparring so um, I uh, had to uh, give my leg a lot of rest and not attend any more classes and from there on I just shadow boxed and that was it but I also tried to prepare a lot mentally to not to just be focused and do my best and feel zero pressure and even though there was a crowd and people coming in from from the neighboring country of Sweden I managed to uh, feel mostly pressure free and even with my dad showing up in attendance uh, yeah so I think the mental aspect is very important and also had the fight went on a little longer knowing that it would be such a hot day I think that would have been to my advantage because I'm not as heavy as my opponent and I also have pretty good stamina so I could have kept this up uh, for at least one or two more rounds of you. Do you plan to do more competitions or fights like this in the future? Um, we'll see the next big thing in my life is uh, fatherhood uh, so probably not anytime soon but I think I would like to fight in the ring at least one more time and but I would like for that to be against someone my own weight class and perhaps now I've faced a pressure fighter but it would be nice to fight another face another distance fighter like myself so it could be like a real technical uh, more with some more flashy kicks and stuff like that but it was great facing the type of opponent that I have the most difficulty with in this one What do you think about the fight today? You know the fighters, so you, you see on them if they have a fun or they get like this new experience, a new spark in the eyes. Yeah, um, uh, it was even better than I uh, hoped it would be. Fun, uh, respectful um, and very, very good uh, fights.
Do you planning to do more often this kind of events here or somewhere else? Yes, yes I do. Uh, maybe here, maybe in uh, Simresam in Sweden. Uh, we are uh, going to get our licenses soon. Definitely, we will do this again. This is just the beginning, this is just the start.